Those of us that know Blackburn College know this is a remarkably special place. I like to say that every college president says their place is totally unique and special. I just happen to be right about Blackburn. But we also know that Blackburn can be more than what it currently is. We have a vision for Blackburn College, and as I've been around and talked to alumni, students, faculty, and staff, I know it's one that we all share. We envision a Blackburn College that serves students who, as Dr. Hudson used to say, have everything but money. This ought to be a place of access and affordability in higher education. As everyone else raises their prices and closes the door on more Americans, Blackburn ought to do the opposite. And that ought to tap us into students that are not being served and ought to lead us to higher enrollment. Imagine a Blackburn College with more than 700 students enrolled. That's where we need to get. We also need to improve our facilities to get there. We need to make sure that we have a 21st century campus to serve this modern group of students. And we'll talk more about that. Finally, and not least at all, the work program needs to evolve to the 21st century. Every student can and will always work at Blackburn College, but we must make sure that that experience is relevant to the careers they want to have. In order to get there, we need to focus first on enrollment. And in order to build an enrollment of over 700 students, the first thing we can take advantage of is leveraging state and federal aid. We're fortunate to still have access to federal Pell Grants for students in need, to the Illinois MAP Grant Program for students in need, and making sure that we take advantage of those programs to make Blackburn affordable for students in need is going to be key to our success. We introduced a program we call the Affordable Access Award about two years ago, and it has led to great enrollment growth. Through it, we said to the entire state of Illinois, if you want to go to college and you're ready to go to college and get admitted to Blackburn, and your parents can't afford anything to send you to college. You can come to Blackburn tuition free. That's a powerful thing. And when I talk to legislators, citizens, alumni, the students who have been touched, I know that we're changing lives with it. We know that we've had parents break down in tears when they find out that their student will be able to go to Blackburn because they qualify for the Affordable Access Award. That's an example of what we can do to make ourselves more affordable and accessible to students and drive our enrollment. It's also the case that we need to better leverage our institutional financial aid. This is the money we give to students from Blackburn College in the forms of merit scholarships and need-based grants. The key in our charitable mission is making sure that we support every student so that they can attend Blackburn College. Not to give as much money as we can to every student that comes along, but to leverage that aid so that we can support as many students as we can to come to Blackburn. And that involves a more nuanced approach to institutional financial aid. Also key to institutional financial aid is finding ways to fund additional aid to our students. And that means additional annual and endowed scholarships. So in order to get to that 700 student enrollment, we will need more money to be able to support those students so they can afford to attend here. And that comes down to gifts from our alumni and friends. We will also need to focus on serving underserved populations of students. There are thousands of students in the state of Illinois and beyond that are ready to go to college, they have the right test scores, the right GPAs. We have not changed our admissions criteria one iota. But they just can't afford to make it happen. And so they end up not going or going to local community college. And we know that their chances of ever achieving a four-year degree on those paths are very, very low. If we can get them to Blackburn College, to a caring community on a four-year college campus, their chances of success in getting a bachelor's degree are much, much higher. And so it's key that we get them here from the beginning and tap those underserved populations. We also will continue our work in enhancing our marketing. How do we sell the Blackburn College experience? How do we describe something this unique to a population of students that might not have ever heard of us before? And so you'll see that we've already changed our website, changed all of our admissions materials, we've changed our campus visit program, all to make sure we're putting out the right messages and the best foot forward from the very beginning of interest in Blackburn College. We'll continue to work on campus aesthetics. I realize that having fresh mulch and flowers and clean buildings doesn't affect the learning that happens in the classroom. But the reality is students who look at Blackburn can't go into a classroom and sample over the course of a semester what that learning will be like. And so we need to be able to demonstrate through our beautiful campus that this is a high quality experience and that experience will reflect in the classroom, in the residence halls, and all around their experience at Blackburn College. So focusing on campus aesthetics is really going to be important.
The last thing we need to, need to do to make sure that we better market to our students is the way that we talk about the work program. It remains the centerpiece of our affordability efforts. It remains the centerpiece of our community. But it's also critically important in making sure that they get a job after graduation. Our alums understand that. Our alums have a myriad of stories of I only got this job, or I only got that internship, or I only got into that graduate school because of my experience in the work program. We get it. But in order to sell that to an incoming student, we need to change our language and talk about the work program as a career development program. The next thing we need to do to achieve that vision is improve our campus facilities. We've seen what can happen when we invest in buildings on campus. The Mahan Science Building has transformed the science programs. They're now our top majors on campus, and faculty love the teaching and learning environment provided by the lecture labs that they, in fact, designed as part of that project. It has transformed that part of our curriculum. Another thing that we've accomplished is improvements in technology on campus. All buildings on campus now have Wi-Fi. Every classroom has a projector and sound system, and every faculty member has a new laptop so they can go anywhere on campus, plug right in, and teach using 21st century technology. We're making progress elsewhere on campus. Bothwell Auditorium has been renovated and is now a showplace on campus. Whether you're coming for a show or for a campus visit, that's where you start, and it really shines bright. It also helps student learning in that our performing arts students are learning with the best possible technology and lighting and sound all around that building. We expect the same impact on performing arts, thanks to the Bothwell renovation that Mahan's addition made on the sciences. We've also made improvements to our freshman residence hall, Jewel Hall. It now has central air conditioning, renovations to bathrooms, new windows, new window treatments, and furniture, so that when students come to Blackburn, they know they're likely to stay in a building that is in good shape and provide a great living and learning environment. We're standing right now in the lobby of Lumpkin Learning Commons, which our alums will know as Lumpkin Library. We're changing the terminology because what libraries were in the 20th century are not what libraries are in the 21st century. Students learn and do their research using the internet more and books less and less. And so we're converting this space from a space where the librarian used to shush you if you talked to a dynamic learning environment where we've centralized all of our academic support services, where the furniture is on wheels so you can study by yourself or study or in groups. We got rid of the computer lab and are moving to iPads and laptops that students can check out and use throughout the facility. We've completed the lobby. The north wing is next to be completed with a new technology classroom. Uh, the writer's block will be in there, a conference room, and other new facilities in the, in the north wing. And then finally, we'll need phase three of the project will be the reading room, the large room, which will need converted to match the architecture and look of the lobby and the north wing when they are complete. We're also working on Anderson Hall, the den, as our alumni like to call it. This was the heart and the hub of campus for years and years. And it's been closed for the last 12. Ever since the Demuseo Campus Center opened, which was a great addition to campus, Anderson has been closed. We've secured a lead gift to rename it and reopen it as the Claire Janke Alumni Center. And we are already in there working with the new construction crew to convert that into a space that current students can use, that alumni can return, soft seating and the fireplace is reinvigorated, and all of the alumni and development offices in one convenient place will make a huge difference on campus. But we're not done. There's much more we need to do on campus. Top of the list would be athletic facilities. One third of our student body comes to Blackburn to play varsity athletics. They want to play for the Beavers. And yet our facilities are often below what they had in high school. Dawes Gymnasium has not been renovated since it opened. And while we have a very nice and functional gym space, the locker rooms, the fitness center, the coaches' offices, all these spaces are not where they need to be. And that just doesn't affect varsity athletes. That affects all of our students, as all students want to keep a healthy lifestyle and need a place to work out. So we have plans to renovate Dawes, to turn the pool into a fitness center, and also perhaps even to add a new fitness center shared with the city of Carlinville on the north side of campus. Our athletic fields equally need some work. So lighting, shelters, and other things like that, restroom facilities, so that our athletes and our spectators can enjoy those outdoor activities as well. Athletics is going to be key to us as we move forward to attract and retain students. Last but not least are our residence halls. Jewel Hall has had some work done, but the other residence halls lack central air conditioning, are still 
double loaded corridors, community bathroom type arrangements. And that's all well and good for, a, say, a freshman or a sophomore. But by the time students are juniors or seniors, they expect a more private living environment, suite style or apartment style, something to give them to look forward to in that housing system. And we don't have anything like that at the moment. It's also the case that in a housing system where the newest building was built in the 1960s, it's time for some updates for the time. And so we'll be looking to improve the residence halls as we go as well. The last thing that we need to get right to get to this vision is our work program. Our work program is the thing that sets us apart, is the thing that makes Blackburn College unique. And it's not going anywhere. It will stay in a form that our alums will recognize and will honor the past 102 years of the history of this program. What we need to do is make sure it connects to the student learning experience in more deliberate ways. It makes us affordable, that's true. It gives us community spirit on campus, that's true. The thing we need to add to that is it connects to their careers in meaningful ways. And so we now have learning outcomes for every job on campus. And those learning outcomes are not simply how to sweep a floor correctly or how to answer the phone in an office. Those learning outcomes are the things that employers and graduate schools are looking for. They're the things that things like how to work on a team, how to work independently, how to dress appropriately for work, how to turn off your cell phone and, and pay attention during a meeting, how to support one another, how to be held accountable to expectations. All the things that employers are telling us, not just Blackburn, but all colleges, that college grads often don't have anymore. College grads may know physics and Plato, and they need to, but they also need to have those character traits and skills to go right to work. We also need to develop feedback and assessment systems to make sure the students are achieving those outcomes. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. Feedback is the critical element of learning. You perform, you get feedback, you reflect on that feedback, and that creates learning. And so to make sure that supervisors are well-trained and if students are getting meaningful feedback as they work so they can improve as they go is key to their learning and making sure this, this program is what it can be for the 21st century. We will eventually be documenting all this learning on a work transcript. Our students will be able to, when they graduate, go on a job interview and say, here's what I learned in class, and here's how I can prove it. Here's what I learned at work, and here's how I can prove it. And that means our grads will get the jobs every time. We also eventually want to get to a place where jobs are tiered on campus. Students ought to start in something entry level, servicing the whole campus, cleaning, cooking, whatever it might be. But eventually, by the time they're juniors and seniors, they ought to be at a place where they're leading others, where they're working independently, where they're exhibiting the skills that employers really want to see in graduates. And we need to build that system intentionally. I like to say we would never allow a student to say, uh, I took Spanish 101. It was a good class. I think I'll take it again and again and again. We would never allow that. Of course not in our curriculum. You need to go on to Spanish 102 and then 201 because you need to learn something new and develop new skills. We need to say the same thing to students in the work program. You need to stretch yourself. You need to try something new. You need to move on. Even though this job might be something you enjoy or something that's easy for you, stretch yourself, challenge yourself, grow. That's what the work program is about. We will also look to expand the work program to off-campus opportunities because we realize there are some things we just can't provide on campus. If you're a computer science major, you ought to work at Carmack, our local software development company. If you're an accounting major, you ought to do the books for a mom and pop shop on the square. These are experiences that are quote unquote real world and, ought to, and we ought to be able to provide to our students to get off campus and have those chances. The path forward we've described is not new to Blackburn. We have been on it for several years. So how's it going? Well, in the enrollment area, we've seen great success. The fall 2014 new student class included 229 new students. That's 40% more than we had in the fall of 2013. And applications for the fall of 2015 are up another 30%, which says the word is spreading to students that this is a great education that they can afford. That's a great sign. On the enrollment front, we we're also pleased that the makeup of the student body has started to change. We joined a small group of colleges where the majority of students on campus last year were Pell eligible students. That's the standard definition for a high financial needs student. And 53% of Blackburn students qualified. That says we're living our mission. That says we're finding students that otherwise wouldn't have a chance at college. That's a great sign. It's also a great sign that our student body has gotten more diverse. 
Two years ago, the college had about 13% students of color enrolled, and the fall 2014 class included 24% students of color. That's again wonderful growth and a great sign that we're finding students that deserve to be served. We have seen issues with retention. It is no surprise that a first-generation student who comes from a low-income background is going to have some transitional issues when they come to college. And so we need to, through our programs and through the support this campaign will generate, better support our students and provide them an environment of support, encouragement, and fun social activities to keep them around. That's the last piece of the puzzle when it comes to enrollment. As for facilities, we've seen the impact that the Mahan Science Building has made. Here in Bothwell Auditorium, we expect the same impact. This investment here, we should see pay dividends in enrollment and engagement in our performing arts programs. We expect dividends to come from the conversion of Anderson into an alumni center, that that will be a new social space for students, a new space that will bring alumni home, and a new office environment for our development and alumni staff to be able to work together. The Learning Commons, a central academic support nexus for our students, should also pay dividends in terms of student support, and another more uh, social environment for students to be able to gather. We also expect improvements in athletics and residence halls to come to make a huge impact on enrollment and our success as an institution. Last but not least, our work in the work program is already paying off. 98% of the class of 2014 is in full-time employment or graduate school. That's based on a 98.5% response rate. That's a number Blackburn College could put up against any other college in the country. It's something we should be very proud of. It says that students are learning remarkable things in the classroom and in the work program. When we get more intentional about creating those learning opportunities and documenting them, it will become all the more powerful for our graduates. There's evidence that this is working, but also evidence that we need more support to accelerate progress. Why a campaign? Campaigns are about momentum. We all love Blackburn College. We all give generously of our time, talent, and resources to make this a better place because we know we can touch students' lives through that work and through those gifts. But we also know that as individuals, the impact we can have is sometimes limited. But as a group, we can do remarkable things. And so campaigns are about building the momentum and building the sense that we're all a part of something bigger than we could ever do alone. That's why we do campaigns. This campaign is called Creating Opportunity for a Reason. We want to create opportunity for the next generation of Blackburn students to have world-class facilities they can live, learn, and socialize in. We want to create opportunities to provide scholarships so that students can come to Blackburn in the first place. We want to create opportunities for our faculty to have the benefit of endowments for their programs and for their positions so they can use the best equipment and to give the best learning experience to the students. We want to create opportunity for students to have a work experience that will connect to their careers, get them that job, and get them into graduate school. And we want to create opportunity through the Blackburn Fund, which we include here because we rely on it every year to make sure we can support our students in their annual work. And so to make sure that donors continue to support the Gideon Blackburn Fund is an important part of this campaign as well. At Blackburn College, we talk a lot about creating opportunity because that's what we do here. We create opportunities for our students. So that's what we're calling this campaign. This is a chance to create opportunity for the next generation of students to have access to Blackburn thanks to scholarship support, to create opportunities through world-class facility improvements, to create opportunities for our faculty to have the budgets, equipment, facilities they need to be the best teachers they can be, to create opportunities through the work program to make sure that it's relevant to the career plans of our students, and to create opportunity through the Gideon Blackburn Fund because it's essential to our everyday operations and our support of student scholarships and programs, and we need to always keep that in front of our donors. But at the end of the day, it's bigger than that. It's about creating an opportunity to transform Blackburn College and make us a true national model for what higher education can be in the United States. As more and more institutions are raising their prices, driving up student debt, and closing the door on more Americans to access to great education, Blackburn College wants to go the opposite direction and open the door to students who have everything but money. That's what we've always done, and that's what this country needs now more than ever. And if we can make this happen with your help, we will become a national example of what a college can and should be. Thank you so much.